The first establishment of a complete naval rating system appeared in 1885. The Navy had previously had a few ratings, however the overarching structure did not include ratings and most sailors were just known as seamen. They developed a system of insignias that would distinguish ranks and ratings. However, let's first talk about what a rating is. A rating is essentially someone's job within the Navy. Do not confuse rating with rate, rate being the pay grade of the sailor. Sailors are given occupations that consist of special skills and abilities, and it can be seen as the Navy's form of specialization. During World War I, the first three ranks of the Navy, Seaman 3rd Class, Seaman 2nd Class, and Seaman 1st Class, are all non-rated ranks, meaning they aren't given a rating yet. However, they are put on a general path that are split up by three branches. These branches are the Seaman Branch, Artificer Branch, and Special Branch. Sailors that were part of the seamen branch wore a white branch mark on both of their arms. The sailors in the fireman branch wore a red branch mark on only the left arm. And the sailors in the special branch did not have a branch mark. Looking at the pictures, you'll notice there are some insignias next to the sleeve marks. They again designate the branch a sailor was in. Due to the special branch having more unique ranks, they have different insignias for each path, including hospital apprentice, musician, and ship cook. The first ranks to be given a rating are the Petty Officers. There are three classes of Petty Officers, 3rd Class, 2nd Class, and 1st Class, similar to the Seamen. Again, the ratings were divided into three sections, Seamen, Artificer, and the Special Branch. The Seamen Branch was filled with deck duties such as boatswain's mate and gunner's mate. The Artificer Branch included more technical jobs including electricians and carpenters' mates. And the Special Branch was everything else from musicians to Yemen's. Each individual rating had a different insignia associated with it that would rest between the eagle and the chevrons. For the seamen branch, they would wear their insignia on the right sleeve and all of the branches wore theirs on the left sleeve. The structure of the ratings is still in effect today, with some minor changes and ratings being added and taken away as well as branches. In World War II, the Navy had added new branches on top of the seamen and artificer branch. The engine room force, aviation branch, commissary branch, messman steward branch, and specialists. All branches other than the seamen branch wore their insignia on the left sleeve only, whereas the seamen branch wore it on the right sleeve only. Each branch contains many different rates that are distinct by their branch. Branches like the aviation branch would contain rates based on aviation jobs, such as aerographer's mate. Insignias are shown on the screen from ranks of chief petty officer to chief petty officer. The rating insignias would be placed between the chevrons and the eagle above them. Arriving to the 21st century, modern day ratings have minor changes with the insignia and also added a subsection to general ratings, titled service ratings. These distinguish the jobs of sailors even further. These service ratings are merged with the petty officer first class rank, mainly being used in ranks below. The non-rated seamen ranks are still separated by career paths, including aviation, engineering, deck, construction, and medical. Each career path has a different color for their insignia. Petty officer insignias remain the same. Different ratings have gone out of fashion and other ratings have been added due to the progressive characteristic of technology and warfare, but the general idea remains. That concludes the Navy ratings and their changes throughout history. If you enjoyed, I also have some videos out on the rank structure of the Navy during World War I and World War II, linked in the description. Feel free to check them out. Thank you and have a great day.